Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 is equal to 1. So I'm going to first start by subtracting 1 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 4 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, x to the power of 4, I can rewrite this as x to the power of 2 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2. I can write this as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now this minus 1 is equal to 0. Now 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So I have x squared to the power of 2 minus 1 squared is equal to 0. If I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 1. So I have x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 1. And this is equal to 0. Now, remember how now this is a this is equal to this actually gives me three equate or sorry two equations I have x squared plus one is equal to zero and I have x squared minus one is equal to zero so for x squared plus 1 equals 0, I'm going to start by subtracting 1 on both sides. So when these two cancel out, and I get x squared is equal to negative 1. Now if I take the square root on both sides, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of negative 1, if you guys already know, is i. So I have positive negative i. And for x squared minus 1 equals 0, I'm going to add 1 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to 1. If I take the square root, I get x is equal to positive or negative 1. So that's two more solutions. So these are my four solutions to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of 10 is equal to 400. So to start, I'm going to rewrite 400. Actually, before that, I'm going to rewrite 400 as 20 squared. And now I'm going to take the power of 10 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 10 to the power of 10 is equal to 20 to the power of 2 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, we can think of x to the power of 10 as m and 10 as n, and I can switch these two places. So now I have x to the power of 10 to the power of x to the power of 10. And also, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this is the same thing as 20 to the power of 2 times 10, which is 20. Now, I'm going to let x to the power of 10 equal to the variable y. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 20 to the power of 20. And a to the power of a equals b to the power of b. This means that a equals b. So y is equal to 20. Now remember how we let x to the power of 10 equal to y, meaning x to the power of 10 is equal to 20. And x is equal to the 10th root of 20. All 
All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of six is equal to x minus one to the power of six. So I'm gonna first start by subtracting x minus one to the power of six on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get x to the power of six minus x minus one to the power of six is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna rewrite this as x to the power of three to the power of two minus x minus one to the power of three to the power of two is equal to zero. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, this can equal x to the power of three plus x minus one to the power of three times x to the power of three minus x minus one to the power of three is equal to zero. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of three plus b to the power of three, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared and a to the power of three minus b to the power of three is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So I'm gonna rewrite this as x to the power of, or sorry, x minus x minus one times, sorry, x plus x minus one times x squared minus x minus one times x plus x minus one squared. And then we have this times x minus x minus one times x squared plus x minus one times x plus x minus one squared. And these two are actually separate equations. So this is equal to zero and this is equal to zero. So let's first start with this here. So x minus x minus one, these two x's cancel out. So I'm simply left with positive one times x squared plus x squared minus x plus x minus one squared. This is equal to x squared minus x minus x plus one, which is x squared minus two x plus one. So we have three x squared minus three x plus one is equal to zero. And to solve this, we can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac over two a, which is equal to three plus or minus, negative three squared is nine minus four times three times one all over two times three, which is equal to three plus or minus the square root of nine minus 12 over six, which is equal to three plus or minus the square root of negative three over six, which is equal to three plus or minus the square root of three i over six. So these are my two solutions.